All right, but let's get these uh, pressure values. So that'll be under our goal plots here. So we'll come down and we'll insert goal plots. And we want to see all of them. We want to see both pressures here that we uh, pressure at the inlet, pressure at the outlet. And if you're, getting, if you're going from the tutorial, the tutorial says just click on the green check mark. And if you do that, it's not going to open Excel automatically for whatever reason. Um, so what you can do is just come back in here when you're creating the plot, just come down here and click on Export to Excel. And I'll get right in there. All right, and here we can see the values. Uh, here's the low pressure. So this is the outlet. And here's the higher pressure. And that would be the inlet. And it gives you some other information there, too. But these are the two we want to be working with. All right, so we're going to work with the calculator that's within SOLIDWORKS to figure out what our uh, loss coefficient is. So if we come up to our flow simulation menu, and then under solve, oh, I'm sorry, tools, go under tools and then calculator. So flow simulation tools calculator. And it opens up kind of like an Excel spreadsheet. And if you just come in and right click here on, on uh, cell A1. And we're going to do a new formula. And we're looking for pressure. So obviously we would go under pressure and temperature. And we're looking at the total pressure loss. So what this, do, what this does, it will give us ask us for the things we need to calculate that K value, that loss coefficient for our valve. So go ahead and click OK, and it's going to give us the total pressure loss. It needs to know the total pressure at point one, total pressure at point two, the density of the fluid and the velocity of the fluid, and those are all the things that are in that loss coefficient equation. So let's put those things in here. The density, uh, you're going to have to plug this in, uh, just knowing the density of water at the temperatures that we're dealing with. So 998.1934, and you see the units get put right in there for you. And the velocity we put in was 1 meter per second. Uh, now the pressures we need to get from our Excel spreadsheet, so we'll just go back over there and just go ahead and Control-C, copy, and go back in here. We can paste and copy and paste. And you can see it calculates right out for us. So we get a negative value here because the total pressure at 0.1 is looking, thinking about an upstream pressure. That's the higher pressure. And so we can actually just swap these around here. I'll move this one over here. Copy and paste these back into their spots. Right, so then we come up with a positive value there. All right. Now that's all well and good. What that gives us is the uh, loss coefficient, not through the valve. That gives us the loss coefficient through the valve and the extensions or the pipes that we added onto it. So we want to find out what the loss value is for a piped area. Uh, and then subtract that off this value to come up with the one for just the ball valve section. Uh, so we'll go ahead and save this. And you can save it wherever you want. We we'll call it ball valve. Again, as long as you can go back and find it. And reference in there. Okay. So go ahead and close that guy out. And yeah, you don't need the Excel spreadsheet now. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we've done before when we got to the went from the short valve to long valve. We're going to clone the project. We'll call it, uh, go to project three, and we'll select the zero degree valve, long valve. And go ahead and green check. All right, and yes, we want to reset the domain, and yes, we want to start the computation from the beginning. Notice the valve angle. Right, the valve is now fully open, and if we uh, can look down here, look down the centers, or rotate it around, you should be able to see all the way through. Okay, so we have a fully open valve now. Uh, all the boundary conditions are still the same. The goals are still what we want, so all we have to do is come up and run it. Oh, correction. Before I get too far into there, stop that. I'll see the results. Um, and actually, it's not a big deal. But basically, if you come back into right-click on input data and the initial mesh, all right, I said we come back to this manual specification of the minimum gap size. Basically, the gap the whole way down is going to be the same because it's we didn't we don't have a partially closed valve now, so it's the same size the whole way down. So we'll just leave that uh, and let it automatically specify what that minimum value should be. So go ahead and click OK on that. 
And now we'll go ahead and run it. And if you, again, if you want to view. Right, as expected, if this is going to be just a uniform uh, cross section the whole way through, the pressure drop isn't going to be nearly as much as it was between the partially closed valve. So you can see those values are very close to each other. Right, and it's done after 57 iterations, so we can close out there. Right, we're interested in our uh, pressure values, so we can come back in and go to our goal plot and go ahead and export to Excel. All right, so we got our 102 kilopascals and 101 pascals, or kilopascals. And we're going to take that back into our calculator, so let's come back in here and go flow simulation tools calculator. And we'll open up the file that we were using before. <coughs> So you can either come back in here uh, to recently used files or open it up and find it. And it looks like it doesn't like the spot where I had it before, so we'll just go open and find it. I saved it in the downloads folder. So there's ball valve. Click on open. All right, so there are all the values there we had from the previous time. Now let's add in the stuff that we um, just calculated. So we'll uh, copy, the, oops, copy the values we have from the Excel spreadsheet. I'll just copy both of those and I'll paste them in here. And uh, we'll copy this so we have it saved. So that's our uh, 40 degree, 40 degrees pressure loss. And let's put these guys up here. You can copy and paste them up here. A little kind of fun, easy way to do this is you can add a relation. And now you can see that kind of the cursor changes. Just click on the cell that we want to add to there, so you can see it's equal to B5. And you do the same thing here, so, oops, sorry, click on the, um, the name at the, the header of the row, add a relation, and click on the lower one. And you can see the final value there for just the pipe. Now, it does go through the valve, so you do have a little bit of loss that's included from the valve just being wide open. Um, so technically, you probably should just pull the pipes off and connect them and look at that, but um, this takes off, you can see 0.4, off the 25.8, so about 25.4 uh, uh, for our loss coefficient. All right, so you guys can be able to do that with your project. Uh, if you want to find some additional details, I gave you a Reynolds number for your project instead of a velocity. Uh, so you can calculate that using the Reynolds number. Um, and I, I think I told you where to look in the other tutorial how to uh, use that, or you can just do it on by hand. All right, and with that, I leave you with... I hope you have a good day.